Alabama State Police are investigating the death of former NFL player Glenn Foster Jr. He died three days ago while in police custody at a medical facility in Northport, Alabama. He was just 31 years old. Nick Smith is joining us now with the latest on this investigation. I, I read about this story and it's so sad. Yeah, and the parents are definitely still looking for answers as well. Police say Glenn Foster Jr. was arrested and he beat up another prisoner. Reports show Foster showed signs of mental instability during a court appearance, so a judge ordered him held for an evaluation hours before he died in custody. He just is a positive, positive personality. That's Brendan Conroy, school president where Glenn Foster Jr. went to high school. Then he played for the University of Illinois and in the NFL for the New Orleans Saints. Our kids were hanging on to every word that he shared with them as he talked about his experiences in life, uh, the fact that he didn't make the football team or didn't play on the football team as a freshman, and he ends up playing in the NFL. Foster was driving from his Baton Rouge home to Atlanta for business when he was stopped for speeding in Reform, Alabama. Police booked him for reckless endangerment and resisting arrest and say he got into a fight with officers and another inmate while he was being processed. A judge ordered Foster to undergo a mental health evaluation because he was considered a danger to himself and others. This morning, it's unclear how or why he died in custody. Now the Saints are sending heartfelt condolences to Foster's family on Twitter. And Drew Brees posting he'll always remember Foster's smile and positive nature on Instagram. Well, Glenn Foster Jr. was diagnosed as bipolar. His father told a New Orleans newspaper his son was definitely having an episode. His parents were denied access to him because of COVID-19 restrictions. Adrian, this is, again, one of those situations we'll continue to follow and monitor because there are just so many questions. Yeah, and it just doesn't, in one sense, it doesn't make any sense, but you don't know what was going on. Exactly. Yeah, all right, thank you so much, Nick. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.